What's up, carpoolers? Corduroy Pikes Mobile Vlogging Unit is back, and we're in my team's never win effect. Put my glove back on. I know that it probably comes off as whining and pitiful, but that's kind of my move. Here are my favorite teams in the four big sports. Okay, that's enough. That's enough laughing. And it's like, out of those teams, the last team to have won something of any serious note was the Toronto Blue Jays in 1993. Which when I say that, I'm like, well, that's not really that long ago. That's okay. But then when I think about it, I'm like, oh. And then there's the Buffalo Bills. And the Buffalo Bills went to the Super Bowl four years in a row, which in itself is very impressive and should be like, wow, that was a great team. But instead, they're only known as the team that lost four Super Bowls in a row. And in spectacular fashion, almost every time. Toronto Raptors never won anything, ever. I think their closest thing was, mm, I don't even know. The Raptors are a team that gets a good player and they're like, yes, this guy's great. And all that guy does is use the Raptors as a stepping stone to get to another team that has actual winning potential. And then of course, the cream of the cream, the Toronto Maple Leafs. When I was wee little corduroy, my favorite team was the New Jersey Devils. Then as soon as they started to get good and show the promise that became this iconic team, I switched over to the Toronto Maple Leafs. I don't know why I did it. It just pulled me to them. I just couldn't not be a fan of them. It could be one of three things. One, I just like the local teams. Two, I really like the, the Wendell Clark, Doug Gilmore years, which let's face it, were the poop. Three, I just like to hurt myself and like things that are only gonna bring me pain. Some of my friends get on me about bashing the Leafs, and I don't bash the Leafs, I just have quick opinions about things that frustrate me. But I'm not here to bitch about the Leafs, all right? Cause they're my team, and they're always gonna be my team. Okay, so because those four teams are now within the fiber of who I am, and because those four teams can never seem to pull out an awesome win, this is my question. What happens when the teams you have are never winning? How does that affect your life and your outlook on things? Like, does it affect it at all? Do you just brush it off? Or is it something you carry with you and you just never have that kind of elation of seeing one of your teams get to the top? I don't mean to be picking on these teams. I'm just really trying to figure out what makes fan loyalty. Like, I would never leave the Leafs as my favorite team. I'll talk some crap. I'll do out some quick judgments of things. But all in all, I'm not gonna bail on them to all of a sudden like the Florida Panthers or something. Almost any other thing in your life, if it never lived up to your expectations, you'd probably move on. TV shows, movies, like music, bands, anything like that, if it starts to suck after a while, you're kinda like, ugh, I'm over it. But with sports teams, it's almost like you wanna stick with it even more because then when they actually do win, you can be like, I've earned this as a fan. Which is really weird because you're also taking their accomplishment and putting it onto you like, I've been here forever, this is finally for me. Well, carpoolers, thanks for checking me out. Thanks for listening to me whine about my favorite teams. And as always, please remember to check your mirrors.